Hi guys, we've learned how to create variables in the previous lesson. In this tutorial we will use them in the actual program. We will learn how to retrieve those values and use the value in our code. So let's get started. Initially we've created the variable 1, var1 one, with the value of 1, 2, 3. So if we check the value of var1, just put in the punctuation mark and the variable name. We also created two variables in one declaration, in one line, 2.5 for the width and for the length, 10.0. If we, if we check the value of width, we have here 2.5 and for the length, we have 10.0. So now how can we create a program to retrieve those values in, in, in our variable? Let's do exactly that. Let's create a simple program called uh, calc area to calculate the area. Let me just set this uh, list program to Lisp so we have a better color coding. Set QWD that's for the 2.5 and set QLN for the length which is 10.0 and we also declare another variable called area which is the 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 variable to store the results of the calculation for the area width times length and we prompt the user we message the user with the outcome of the calculation the area is then we have here a new function called real to string and convert this area into a string we need to actually concatenate that so we, we need another function called strcat that's uh, for concatenation we put here the print c to clean for clean output all right so let's save this uh, program into a file let's say vars.lsp Let's load that file. Okay, now we have one function here. So if we execute that function, we have here 25. Let me show you first the effect if we remove this princey here. And we load the program again and we execute the calc area. You see this nil? We don't need that. So that's why we need the print here for a clean uh, output without any other characters showing in the results. So save this one again and load it. Execute the calc area. Now we have a clean results, just 25. Okay, so this is good. However, th this is very, very limited function because all of the values are hard coded. Let's make another program to be <coughs> more dynamic. So rather than hard coding the values, we will let the user enter the width or enter the length. So let's create that new function. Let's call it uh, calc area 2. Set Q with. Now we will be using one autolist function called get real. Enter the width. 
this function will get the value of whatever the user enters and store it in the WD variable. We'll do the same thing for the length. Get real. Enter the length. Now we can create another variable called area. Basically, we just need to copy this one here. And we should be good now. We can load the file, save it, and load it. And now we have a new function called calc area2. Let's try that out. So now we are being prompted with the width. So you can enter whatever number you like with a decimal. Let's say if you enter 3.5 and 7.6 for the length we have here the 26.6 this is our area all right so with this function here we allow our program to be dynamic so the user can enter any values that they would like to be calculated and we can provide them the area. You can tweak this one to do more complex calculation as you wish. But the important emphasis here is how we store those values into a variable and how we consume those variables into our calculation as well as showing the output to the user all right in the next video we will continue building on top of this by uh, creating a new layer with the line types and colors based on the user input so i'll see you there